I'm Dr. Sue Chang from the College of American Pathologists and City of Hope. As a pathologist, I'm your doctor who specializes in diagnosing diseases through microscopes and laboratory medicine. When you get a pap test, HPV test, or some other types of gynecologic tests, I'm the specialist who evaluates that specimen and provides results to you and your primary care physician. I'm here today to answer some of your most common questions about pap smear tests, HPV tests, and results that you may see in your pathology report. Here's a question. So what if your pap test was abnormal, but the HPV test was negative? What does that mean? This means that the pathologist who was reviewing your pap smear test saw something abnormal under the microscope. There was a wide range of changes that are considered abnormal. And not all cancers or precancers are caused by HPV. Sometimes there are changes to the cervix that can be seen only under the microscope that aren't caused by HPV. And in rare circumstances, the cervical pap smear test detects abnormalities that are coming from the endometrium, which is the lining of the uterus. This is why your pathology report will have both tests on it. Should you get the HPV vaccine? Everybody should get the HPV vaccine. That's for guys, gals, and non-binary pals. The CDC recommends vaccinating children at ages 11 and 12 to protect against HPV infections that can cause cancers later in life. There are many different strains of HPV out there. The HPV vaccine addresses nine strains of high-risk HPV. So even if you've had a positive HPV test in the past, there is still a protective value in getting the HPV vaccine. Thanks for watching. I hope I've answered some of your questions. You can find more answers to questions about your pathology report at yourpathologist.org.